Do we start? Alright. Start on. Alright. Um. I don't know where to really start here. Um. A documentary is really. You guys want as much information about my life and about stuff going on as much as possible and I'm going to give you it. Starting with Daisy and Cindy. Like, Daisy and Cindy are, of course, you know, you guys want to know as much information as possible about them, which really, really stands in, uh, like, there is bad news, and actually what happens off camera is mainly good, necessarily, yeah. It, they're happy, they're, they're really happy, and... There is bad news, and the bad news mainly is Cindy's going blind, and um, it. I, I want. I need. I want to make a YouTube video. I could just turn this into it, which is the reason. This is not scripted. This is not nothing. This is just a full non-edited video. Well, it is. What am I? What am I messing up words? There's a lot to talk about about clickbait and and all that talked about in this video and this well documentary. Um. So yeah, Cindy's going blind. I'm gonna be talking about clickbait and, and so much more about the Ouija board and a lot of other stuff. I am going to talk about. It's. It's just necessarily going to be. And in a really big video and it's about time I finally talk about my past everything right through the villains and everything that happens it's all going to it's time to come out and face the difficulties of what happens in this sort of area so let's just start off with the biggest subject of all Quick baiting. Click baiting is. I did it for a long time. Like, it, seriously, like, if you think about it, the only way to really draw attention on YouTube with the YouTube algorithm is click baiting. It's, it's a really hard like sort of topic topic to talk about. As it's necessarily like triple and like like the pranks that happened and all it's it's insane how I put like so many people believe that it look the only real prank was mainly the cigarette prank and it really just didn't it was doing a real prank. I don't to see how much how how good it would turn and it it was alright. So all the other pranks were just mainly scripted. Um basically all the videos of my mum in it were clickbait. Clickbait it scripted. And it's not what I wanted to do necessarily. Like, it's it's a topic I wanted. Like, it's one of the biggest topics. Like clickbait and on the channel, I I didn't I did it quite a bit on the um on this my main channel, but mainly it all happened on the live stream. Like, 
the drama and everything that really happened on the live streams were necessarily not needed but for content necessarily most of them were just scripted into being entertainment into into being content like there were so many funny moments that were scripted if you look back to the control series at the end we always i always raged or someone else raged this that was all scripted like a lot of it was scripted into this like the spiciest chip in the world was not scripted it was really spicy but the bit with my mum was scripted there is so much to talk about that really needs to be talked about right now in this one hour documentary because I want this to be sorted I want this to be settled and I want you to know what really happens behind the scenes and like as I said I did do a video like it's from the videos from now on are literally not scripted and most likely this is probably like what a month after you guys have seen the wide away house too like it's insane like how much like stuff i scripted well of course i'm not, not i'm not talking about the movie of course the movie is scripted as a movie i mean like quite a lot of stuff has been scripted necessarily and it didn't need to be scripted. Like, it's insane. Like, let's move on to the Ouija board, right? The Ouija board. The one back in, what was it, November? It was scripted. The one with a ring and me finding a ring on the doorstep. And necessarily, it, it was fake. But the one in, what was it, like, February or March? It was real. Them glasses did go off them table. Like, that gla them two um, pint glasses that I used for the homemade Ouija board, they went off. So, it's... It's seeing how, you, like, how that happened. I thought I, I, it would be a very fun bit of drama to bring back. Literally, I was going to script it, yeah, again, that March thing. But literally, it was real. I, I had in my heart, like, literally... It was real, that one in March. But the one on September was scripted. Um, I don't... I just... I feel like... It would have been good to have this sort of content and this sort of... Like discussion with you guys in this documentary about everything that I really think is is in literally in the challenge the what was it coming in a backfield I never completed that challenge because when I was doing it there was a giant rat I mean massive rat come right into the tent I ran back to the house and I didn't complete it I went back the next morning as if I completed it I didn't actually do that 24 hour challenge. It, it shed. There was literally another rat. If you guys didn't know, my shed, um, it, it has a rat problem, a big rat problem. And they're probably getting in from the field, which is going for it, and which the field, the tent, that's where I did the 10th challenge. So the rat went in there and then in the shed, of course, they're coming for there's a like we got it all sorted after it but now they're back again so i don't know what i could do like how are we going to get people in to sort that all out it, it it's really something that necessarily needs to be fixed like it insanely needs to be fixed in a way that like i'm not going to be clickbaiting any more videos like they're gonna be clean videos and it's time for me to tell you why did no one think i use body track come on bro 
boy. You guys are weird. Okay, okay, I'm not, I don't know why it was. Okay, okay, okay. No, let's move on to the next subject. As I was talking about villains, well, I wasn't talking about villains, I was talking about that rap plum. It's probably going to be sorted, but yeah, I really want to do another 24 hour challenge, probably 24 hours on the trampoline. I think that'd be very fun because we're going into summer, so it'll be good to do that sort of maybe thing. If you guys want to see that, so I like that. Um, we're not talking about videos today, we're talking about past and real life DJ killers. Um, the villains. We have gone through quite a lot of villains or bad people in the channel. Like, I'm trying to think. Chill Dog. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Um, Alan, you know. Um, there's quite a lot that I can't even really remember. You know what I mean? A lot of fights happen in the streams. A lot of drama, necessarily. And drama is... Like, drama is insane. Like, as I said, ever since the click pit stopped, there hasn't been really a huge amount of drama in streams. Which is really good, as mainly as most of the drama was just clickbait. Like, it's... And seeing how much, like, when people, like, when I'm, I may stream once a day and the main channel gets videos, you know what I mean? But most of you guys haven't really thought about the reason why I haven't been uploading a lot on the main channel. And the main reason is the movie, this documentary, because the big countdown, if you guys didn't know, Probably it would by now. But countdown from 100 days to zero was the countdown to this. Because this is something that needs to be talked about. I just feel like... Where would I put it? it needs to be talked about. You know. It needs to be talked.